So at first it may feel like the Catan is a little bit snug, but keep in mind that the snug fit is really important for making sure that you can support your baby's back and bottom and neck, and also for helping to save your back. So if it's, gonna, if it's too loose, then you are gonna feel like you're carrying a lot of extra weight in the front, and you do wanna make sure that it's distributed across your shoulders and across your low back so that you know, you're not feeling achy after a few minutes of use. When in doubt, do size down, and we'd love to see you in the Motherhood Center, and we can try on different sizes and see what the best fit is for you to where you feel confident and safe about carrying your little baby around. So there is another position before the hug position, the kangaroo position. Um, that is great for newborns up to three months. Sometimes newborns will want to skip immediately to the hug position, which is what baby Emily is in right now. This is great for letting their legs wiggle around if they want to get a little squirmy, but still giving them support on their back and their neck. And they can also nap in this because you can have the sling holding their neck and their, their head up against uh, your chest. So you do want to make sure to do a safety check after you put them in this position. And there's four major steps in the safety check. You want to check and make sure that there's a clear source of air so that she can breathe. She's not having any obstructed airways. Her mouth and nose are totally clear and you can see them. And then also that her chin is off of her chest. You don't want to have any sunken chest, um, any chin, you know, squishing down. So you want to make sure that she's comfortable and that she can breathe. Um, and also want to make sure that when she is in a seated position, that her bottom is going to be a little bit above her knees. That's going to help with the good hip development and also keep her more comfortable for a longer period of time. And then also make sure the sash is secure. So the sash we have up around us, not only for our back support, but also for her back support. This is a great way um, to also get a little bit of extra tummy time set in. So while she's enjoying cuddling with you, she's also helping to learn how to hold her neck up straight and hold her head up. So that is gonna be sometimes more enjoyable tummy time if, if you do have a baby that's not enjoying you know, being straight on her tummy and having to hold her head up all the way. And then also, um, yeah, just to make sure that um, if she doesn't have full head control yet, make sure that her head is supported by the carrier. So if you're moving around at all, if she's sleeping, or if you're you know, at all not staying in a stationary position, you do wanna make sure that their head is being held up by the sash. That's gonna keep them from having their head lolling around. So <laughs> general safety. Um, if you do have any questions, we'd love to see you at the Motherhood Center to show you how to fit the Catan and to ch uh, make sure the sizing is really good for you. And even if you have a different carrier, if you have the Boba Wrap or the Baby Bjorn, anything like that, we'd love for you to bring it in and make sure that you feel confident and safe and that you can enjoy being, you know, uh, having that, that close contact with your baby. So 